up guys it's rhino again on the ultimate collectors um so i got these guys in uh not too long ago a couple days ago and uh there's kind of a story uh, that goes with it um i had wanted a prince of persia dastan figure um and i didn't want to spend all the money for it you know they're going for almost 200 plus on ebay and i didn't really want to buy it brand new and i was looking on the um 1-6 Republic, uh, or 1-6 Warriors, sorry, for them, and I just happened to see a guy selling, uh, one of them for, uh, about a hundred something dollars, hundred thirty, hundred forty dollars loose, and, uh, I'm like, hey, can you, you know, work down the price, and he's like, since, uh, you know, I painted the face, he, I guess he had used his head sculpt to paint to make another character, I don't know who it was supposed to be, but he had painted the face, and so he reduced the price to $115 for me shipped. And I thought that was a pretty good price. So uh, basically I asked him, do you have any other head sculpts, you know, because I, I don't really like the painted, you know, I want the actual guy. So he throws in the, um, this is like the true type, you know, the, is it, but it happens to be the same actor. So uh, it works out really well, actually. Uh, so I got this basically. And then this shirt. And, uh, you know, this head sculpt here with this belt. And I just kind of had this guy set up like this. And then the rest of these clothes just laying around. And then I decided, hey, I had these Bruce Lee. These are like the Bruce Lee pants. And I just had them. I didn't have the... I had the figure at one point And the pants had broke. So I bought the new a new pair and then sold the whole figure. So I had these pants and shoes just laying around. And I think it goes perfect with this. So I just threw it on a uh, one of those $20... Uh, knockoff bodies gave him the necklace and now I got kind of like two Dastan figures and I'm not quite the biggest fan of the movie per se I don't even really remember how it went <laughs> I think it was centered around this dagger here though but I'm mostly just a fan of the Persian style the ancient Persian you know armor and weapons and the clothing and and uh you probably saw my other video of my Persian cat so uh, it, it's kind of in my heritage, so I kind of like this stuff. So, um, what I did was I put the true type head sculpt on here, kind of like, I have kind of a story set up here where, you know, he's kind of like the evil twin, so I, I put the kind of painted sculpt of him there on that body with the dagger and say, like, the good twin, you know, Daston is, you know, fighting this dude to get the, the power of the dagger back and whatever you know i just wanted to set up some kind of scenario here in my detail and i think it turned out pretty cool just the overall scene the pose without stand so i know uh morris will appreciate the the art of the posing uh and i hope you all do too um so yeah so since the figure comes with two belts and a bunch of swords and you know it was enough to put together two figures since he gave me the extra head so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm going to leave it like this. This is in the second shelf of my uh, Detolf. Uh, as you saw, the bottom shelf still has my cat in it. I'm just playing. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you guys don't call P-E-T-A or whatever. She was in there for like two minutes. So, um, yeah. So, I thought I'd update you. This is my latest pickup. I'm expecting a... Christopher Reeve Superman. I'm sure there's a million videos of those, but I'll try and do my take on it. Uh, so I'm getting that like Tuesday. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this setup. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, leave your comments. Alright, peace out.